Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about the ASCII codes, right? And this ASCII codes are nothing but an American standard code for information interchange. And these are the common character encoding format to represent the textual data in computers or on the internet. And mainly by using this ASCII, we can represent the alphabets, numerical data, special characters and some sort of control codes. So here the alphabets are both in uppercase and the lowercase and the numerical data from 0 to 9 and the special characters and the control codes can be represented by using the ASCII. And the main, uh, it is also efficient for only the English language and it is universally accepted. And main drawback of using these ASCII codes is a, it is a limited character set. That means it is only efficient for English language. So coming to the other alphabets in other languages cannot be represented by using this ASCII. And for that, there is a one more character encoding format is there that is a unique code. So which can accept a more number of characters, which can represent more number of characters. And Unicode is called as a universal code and it is a superset of ASCII. So there will be no change in ASCII. Apart from that, more number of characters can also be represented by using this Unicode. And see how to know about this uh, character corresponding ASCII code. So we'll write a program that displays the character for a given numerical data. So in general, 128 characters can be represented by ASCII and later it was extended to some 256 characters. And coming to the universal code, more than 256 can be represented. So now we'll see the program. So let us start the DOS box and I will execute the program and I will show you. So the input will be then numeric and we'll get the ASCII code, right? Let's see. First, uh, let us include the standard input output device. So stdio.h and then go with the main main function and then just give one character or uh, we'll give the number so that we'll get the character right so we'll read the number so int n and let us clear the screen so every time you execute so the output will be good and printf let us write down so enter the value for character right and go with the scan of read the element so percentage d so we, we are giving a numerical input so that we will get the character so n ampersand n and see uh, here just again print character for given ASCII value percentage D is percentage C. So reading the character, reading the numerical and try to print that numerical using the character format specifier so that you will get the character. Right? A very simple thing. So just reading the input by using the integer but we are printing the same by using the character format specifier. So n comma n yes. Now save this one asc dot c compile no errors run so we need to give the numerical value so i will give the numerical value as 65 so let us check alt f5 so the character for given ascii value 65 is capital a 
so that means 65 is a ascii value for a character a and these values can be in between 0 to 256 and if you are giving 257 again the same characters will be repeated that means the character given for 0 will be repeated in 256 right see let us check so 256 is the number i have given now let us check space space is for 256 and run the same and go with the 0 and again go with the alt f5 so you see 0 is a space so 0 to 255 will be the unique characters and if you give beyond the 255 again the same characters will be repeated right so this is how we can represent the ascii values so ascii values are the values given for every character on your keyboard so whatever the character available in the keyboard if for everything there will be an ascii code so the working will be done the processing will be done with the help of this ascii values only so that's the most important in the programming as well as so this is a character encoding format which will be used in internet or in computer processes right so hope you understood this one uh, if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.